Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine Energies and I can begin the message straight away. I knew from the first time that I saw you that I would love you forever. Your smile made me fall in love with you and I knew then that I wanted to wait to see your smile every morning. Yeah, my be beloved Divine Feminine, I always knew that it was you. I may have believed that I couldn't have this love, that I wasn't fortunate enough to have this true love, I wasn't fortunate enough to have you. But that's the lie that we're uprooting now, that's the lie that we're healing through. I'm ready for a change in my life and my existence. It's not okay that I, we experience the pain of separation. There's nothing we really want in, in a place of separation. It's safe to let the illusion of separation go. It's safe to say we've experienced that and that we've never experienced perfection perfect love anywhere in our memory but that's okay and there never has been a way before for something that we didn't believe existed perfect love but now we're letting the truth this is using logic in the right way passionate adventure yeah that's what i'm striving for that's what i'm dreaming of passionate adventure with you yeah, I'm in a time of creative introspection and it's asking myself, I'm asking myself how I am growing and changing in this moment. In what ways am I processing the lessons presented to me every day? Do I ignore or embrace them? Making changes to benefit myself. This is a time of risk taking as well. I'm looking inside myself to verify whether or not I'm stuck in a rut or afraid of making changes. And I'm moving into a place of pushing myself <clears throat> to make all that I can of my life while, while I'm living it. And it's, it's, it's only half a life if it's not with you. Less than half a life. I can only be happy with you. And nothing is going to make me feel more risk-taking and adventuring than the pursuit of you, my true love. So be authentic to who you are because it's who you are that I'm attracted you to. It's who you are that I'm magnetised to. You don't have to be anyone or anything other than who and what you are. That's... That's it. That's the secret source. That's what brings me home to you. And I want to come home and be your one true love. I want to step into this <clears throat> royal energy in order to be enough for you. So there's my insecurities coming through. I'm also learning that I only need to be who I am for you. And I know that my life is sending me one big unmistakable signal about the way I experience my relationships. Maturity, collaboration, good bargain, ready to make good on my choice, well thought out. Number four for stability, action, fire, full good progress. Focus on myself as you focus on yourself to get the work done. Thinking about myself, where do I need to make a change here? Any issues are no big deal. Regardless of how much the illusion wants to make out that it's a big deal. They can be fixed. Just master what one has to do. I didn't think I'd be <clears throat> falling 
for you as hard as I actually had. I thought it would be more like a little bit of fun, but now I want to love you. I may have been a bit detached in the past, but now I'm mad about you. I've, things are so different now. I feel vulnerable. I feel intimate. I want to open up. This is the real big deal. I may have been emotionally attached before because I was afraid of getting hurt. I may have tried not calling, seeing others, but there's nothing I can do about these feelings. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Can't let you go. I admit defeat. You've got me. I'm deciding this for myself. No one can, de can decide for me. The inquiry. So I'm feeling deeper. I'm feeling deeper into the love I have for you, the feelings I have for you, feeling deeper and deeper into the connection. I can't not because it's so there. It's so in my face. There's nothing I can do to distract myself from it. Maybe it's because I'm not meant to be dis uh, distracted from it. Even though I can only see this thing in front of me, I'm piecing the bits and pieces together. I know a bigger dream is coming together. And you're helping me figure this out by simply having faith and having love. Your faith is your fortune. You're a beacon of light to me. And we're going to get this treasure that we claimed that's ours, that's our birthright. We're entitled to it. We're next in line for it. We will have our dream. This is the attitude to have. Fate, destined, future fortune. Yeah, this is our destiny. Please don't think that it's not. There's going to be no more need to settle, no more need to go without, no more need to play small. We're going to have everything we've ever desired. So please don't have the misperception that I'm not working through the exact same things as you are right now. Because my reality is reflecting for me the contents of our consciousness through my lens. So whatever's in front of me, I'm working through just as you are. Not always the exact same thing, but always complementary. So we are working together to reach up, get to our dreams, fulfil our destiny. Never lose sight of that. You are the most beautiful person in the world, at least in my world. You are my whole world, my universe, my all. And please don't uh, ever think different. We were designed for each other. You were designed for me. You're perfect for me in every, every way. You are absolutely stunning in every way. Everything about you absolutely captivates and enraptures me. So please remember this truth. Please remember how I really feel about you. Fantasy and temptation. Daydreams and decisions. I have been daydreaming about you. You are the objects of my fantasies. If you ever wonder at what I'm imagining, please know that it's always going to be you. You are where my mind goes when it wanders, because you are what's in my heart. This is the divine truth. The illusion, the ego illusion that may tell you the contrary. It may look really hard and dense, impregnable, as far as you're aware at this point. But love's lighter than that. Love dissolves any illusion. 
And there is absolutely nothing that love cannot heal. So please know this. This is a gentle process of ascension. The divine doesn't want you to suffer. The divine wants you to have your desires. Yeah, I know that it can seem like pulling weeds is all there is in the garden of our consciousness, but that's not the truth. Even if you don't feel good right now, each upset you've been working through is step by step. It will, it, things will go from feeling not so good to feeling fantastic. When that foundation is laid fully, you step into a new reality with all your desires included. Work through the upset right now one at a time and feel better. Everything you work through as you work the process is a building block for the life we're stepping into. Because blocks are not just obstacles, they're also building blocks for the palace of our union. So keep that in mind. Everything you work through is another slab in your foundation. Everything you deal with in everyday life, even if it seems so unrelated to the twin flame journey. It can't not be related to it. Everything in life is part of the twin flame journey. Even the most boring task that you have to do brings us closer to each other. And knowing this, every activity can be filled with joy as our lives become a song of love for each other. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.